Dave here at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Today we're looking at the 2023-2506S Rockwood Mini Lake. A popular model for many years. Got a nice little outside kitchen as well. Let's check it out. We got a front automotive grade windshield. These are the current graphics on the white exterior, but I'm sure they're gonna change slightly for the 2024s that are gonna be coming out. Slide topper, always, always we order with our slide toppers on these minis. Uh, highly recommend it. Two 30 pound bottles, front power jack, room for two batteries in that battery box, and there's a battery disconnect switch under the propane bottles. This unit came with the power stabilizer option, although you can get it with the manual stabilizers. Outside shower in the front corner here, hot and cold. On this slide room, you have windows on either side of the slide that actually slide up, and then you have the windows that crank out from the bottom. Outside storage, this is right in the dinette area. You can see in this box, this is the inline filter that's coming with the minis now. Big improvement over the, the old cartridge filters that were really hard to get off. A little bit of room on either side there. You can see the aluminum framing. Now, one thing about this storage space that I should mention is this is what it's going to look like when you have the U-shaped dinette. That's the standard, the standard seating in this unit. But you can also get this unit with theater seat or the hide a bed. And when you do that, you're going to lose a lot of the storage space. That hide a bed, that theater seat's going to come way back here. You might have a little bit of room behind it. But not a whole lot so you got to keep that in mind you're going to be losing some storage space if you do go with a hide bed or theater seat in this model goodyear tires with nitro fill a lot of times i get the question well what if what, what about when i have to refill the tire well just put air in it that's fine i mean air is mostly nitrogen anyway you know the real benefit of, of the pure nitrogen is that it doesn't react to changing uh, temperatures as much really hot day really cold day it doesn't the, tire pressure doesn't go up and down as much that's the real benefit but over time just replace it with air that's fine you have the gray tank and the black tank outlets right here and then there's a separate there's a galley tank you can see it up there that's for the sink because you have a front kitchen that sink has its own 30 gallon gray tank and then you have a separate 30 gallon gray tank for the bathroom the shower drain and then a, a black tank um, right out of the same outlet electrical hookup 30 amp the potable water fill the fresh water tank fill and then the black tank flush anytime you're going to be using the black tank flush hooking a hose up to it always 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 remember to open that black valve over there make sure that the hose is hooked up this the sewer the sewer hose and the black valve is open you definitely don't want to run that water and then uh, leave it closed because pressure builds and then you can use your imagination what's going to happen next. Standard ladder on the rear, rated for 250 pounds. Backup camera ready, easy to wire it in there. Spare tire is also standard with this. And like on all the other minis, a 300 pound rated two inch receiver for a bike carrier or for a storage rack. This model under the rear bed has a sliding storage bin actually comes way out I'd say five ish maybe five six feet something like that in length about a foot wide for storage space you get the power cord in there and that's the outside table that sits next to the griddle city water connection nicely labeled there with the sticker on the left and the antifreeze inlet if you want to winterize it yourself it goes right to the water pump you just turn a valve inside to to use that and then cable on the left satellite on the right this 2506 does have an outside kitchen they call it like a half size outside kitchen it's got the smaller fridge but nice little fridge for your cans or whatever you want to put out here an electric fridge now this fridge does not run on 12 volts this is actually a 110 fridge so you have to be either plugged in or um have a generator it also is not hooked up to the inverter so you really can't run it off battery power you have to be plugged in or have a generator two burner cooktop and there's a gas line that hooks up underneath this 
spray nozzle is for the spray port, which is right over here, right next to the water heater. And the water heater is six gallon gas or electric. You can see the, the button for the rear stabilizer. So the rear ones are controlled by one button and the front ones are controlled by another button. They go down at the same time. If one side hits first, then, the, then that side stops and then waits for the other side to go and then they start pushing down together. That awning goes out eight feet. There is an LED light strip on it. it goes most of the length of the trailer. Two outside speakers. There's a slot over here for TV, you can mount TV outside. Gas griddle goes on that rail and that little table that we saw earlier goes right next to it. More ride steps. And when you see the three steps like this, this is piston assisted. So you can do it with one finger if you want. Lift the thing up, adjust the legs clicks in automatically when you pull the legs down. If you want to put the legs back up, you just press a little silver tab and then push the legs up and it'll click in that way. Very, very easy to set that up. Some additional storage. This is going to be right behind your sink inside the unit. This is in the front corner. So you get a little perspective there. Nothing huge, but take what you can get, right? And there's the inverter box. The unit comes with a thousand watt inverter. Also on the roof, there's a 200 watt solar panel and you do have the option for a second 200 watt panel. If you're gonna be doing a lot of camping where you're not be plugging in, you wanna make sure your battery is gonna be charged fully uh, all the time because your fridge is 12 volts and lights and everything you know that runs on 12 volt in the camper, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's on top of uh, charging up that battery. All right, let's go inside and check out this layout. This is a front kitchen floor plan. So you get a lot of counter space, goes all the way around. So if that's something that is a high priority for you, but you wanna keep the total length under 29 feet, under 30 feet, even under 26 feet, this is just under 26 feet. Dry weight 55 about with different options. It's gonna be higher, a little bit lower, but it's gonna be about 5,500 pounds dry. You got two-sided sink, stainless steel. I'm a fan of these outlets. If you need it, you got it. And there's even a USB port there. But if you want to use this space, just put it down. It's even a charger for your phone on the top of it. You put the shade down in the front, and there's two magnets that hold it tight against the window. So either side, there's magnets on it. Nice job, Rockwood. I like that a lot. Now I'm sitting at the dinette. There's a small electric fireplace. It does throw heat has a nice ambiance to it with the lighting. You see the solar charger above that. And there's a little bit of netting there for storage purposes. Small television that does swivel. 11 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. And standard in the minis on the 2023s, and I'm sure that it'll remain standard on the 24s, is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, which is going to do a fantastic job cooling a unit of this size. All these lights are on right now. I turned the switch on. I'll show you that in a second, but they can be turned on and off individually as well. So I'll look across from the dinette. That window does open up. That's an exit window on the left that does open up from the bottom, as is this crank out window. And then behind me, there's the other window on the side that lifts up. Your main uh, control station is right near the door. You can hook this up to your phone. There's a WeRV app. You can control the lights and the awning and the uh, slide the slide room right from your phone, but you also can just do it by pressing these buttons here. You walk next to the, this unit, there's a little sensor near the bottom, lights up. So you can see right away what your tanks are, if they're getting full. You can see your battery is charged 100%. And you got awning light, step light, Right now the interior and bedroom are on. You can see the blue there. Water heater, gas and electric, water pump, and the tank heater. Tank heaters are 12 volt heat pads that are right on the tanks. So if you're gonna get a real cold night, make sure that you, know, you turn those on and it'll keep it from freezing over. This U dinette does turn into a bed. I just wanna show you that real quick. So if you stick with the standard U dinette, you have the option for another bed. If you get the high to bed sofa, that turns into a bed. But if you get the theater seats, those just recline. They don't they don't actually make a, a bed. Bathroom is off to the side in the hallway. Plenty of room for your for your feet there at the toilet. Sit down with the door closed, of course. 
corner shower with the glass front. Shower miser is there to conserve your hot water. Your fresh water, I should say. When you're trying to heat it up, you just turn the valve and it cycles it through until that little blue piece uh, turns clear. And then you'll know that the water is to temperature. You can turn the valve back and you can use that water. Skylight for the tall folks. And in all the minis, you have a vent fan with a cover already installed from the factory circulate air. About 900 cubic feet of air a minute on these fans. In the bed, you can get around either side of this bed. And I believe it's a 60 by 74 bed. If that's not correct, I'll just put the right, uh, the right size right in the video itself, but I'm pretty sure that's what the bed size is. The griddle is right on the bed in the box there. You just take it out of there and install it on the front of the, or on the side of the camper. I love this rear large window. There's a shade on that, of course, if you don't want, don't want um, light getting in. And then you have this other large window on the side as well. Both windows do open up from the bottom. If you wanted to install a television in this unit, right in that corner would probably be your best bet for a TV install um, right above that opening there. And then you get your hookups behind the television. Just gonna walk right through the camper just so you get a feel for the layout, and what it, the size of the camper. Hopefully your view is a little nicer than the back of our, <laughs> our dealership. Looking at the storage in here, it's quite a bit of storage. Many different cabinets, different options for storage. Pantry, right to the left of the, the sink. It's gonna be your main pantry. Four drawers. Underneath the, the sink, there's actually, goes in pretty far. It's a decent storage area under there. Under the oven as well, you get a drawer. And then above, above the sink in the kitchen, this goes right across, goes right across to the side there. And there's a little nook as well, right next to the microwave. Either side of the U-shaped dinette have the drawers that pull out. And then you already saw on the outside, there's storage space. And that's with this setup. You do lose this if you get the hide to bed or the theater seat. You don't get any of the storage that you see here. So keep that in mind medicine cabinet and they give you a little bit extra on the side of the medicine cabinet but the door goes beyond the door there plenty of room for towels or anything like that on those shelves and then a little bit of room underneath the sink here not much but just a little bit for clothes on either side of the bed you can hang clothes there and then over there that also you can hang clothes above the bed there's storage those open up go right across you have a drawer there and then on the other side of the bed not a drawer but you do have um, plugs for a USB and um, an outlet electrical outlet the bed has two drawers underneath it and then lifts up a lot of the mini lights you see this when they're not a Murphy bed, you get that little bit of storage in the front. When the slide room is in, you absolutely cannot get to the back of the camper. So you can't get to the bathroom with the slide in when you're traveling. That being said, if you do put the slide room out a couple of feet, you can get to the bathroom. This particular slide setup, you can do that without throwing any of the timing off. It's different with a Schwintech side slide with the two um, tracks and the electric motors, those you either got to put all the way or in all the way. You can't put them out halfway. But this particular slide room on this unit, uh, you can do that. And it's not going to affect anything. So you have the option. But certainly with the slide in, you can't get there. You can get to the, t to the fridge. And I just want to show you that real quick. Again, just under 11 cubic feet. It's like 10 and a half or so cubic feet. 12 volt fridge and they get cold about an hour and a half as opposed to five hours the old uh, gas electric refrigerators so this has been the 2023 2506s rockwood mini any units ordered after this time and right now it's mid-july uh, mid-june i should say by about mid-july they're going to be coming out with a 24 so if you ordered one right now it's coming as a 24 
I can't wait to see what the options are going to be, what the colors are going to be, all that, but we just don't know yet. So once I get that information, I'll be putting out a video. Certainly when we get our first 2024 mini light, I'll be putting out a video of that. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.